Good morning guys. In this video today we will fix a GPU card. Let's check this GPU card problem. This is Sapphire's Radeon RX 480 4G card. Its fans are not working and uh, there is no display on the screen. These fans are not jammed either while the computer fan is running. Now we have to open it to fix it. Let's open it. Now its motherboard is in front of me. This part is the power supply of the main GPU processor chip. Here it has 6 inductor coils haunting in this area. Five of them are providing power to the processor chip and RAM and it is providing power supply. One of them is the internal supply of the processor and the other is providing the supply for the fans. I have to connect the oscilloscope's ground to it so I can check its signals. This fuse is blown. To know why it is blown, we need to test the circuit and determine the exact cause of the short circuit. Of course, this fuse is blown due to a short circuited component and the readings are also of a short circuit. Here I can see that someone has tried to fix this before and has replaced both of these fuses. But this fuse is still bad. Let's check it now with a digital meter. Connecting the one end of the meter to the ground and the other to one terminal of the fuse. The meter shows one side of the fuse as 2.2 ohms and the other side as open, which means the circuit is really short. The input terminal of the fuse is connected at the other side of the board at pins 2 and 3. At these pins, the 12 volts come from the PCI ports power portion which means that the 12 volts are dumped to the ground due to a short circuited component. In order to properly diagnose and fix the issue, it is important to thoroughly test the circuit and determine the exact cause of the short circuit. Let's check the power supplies of the remaining components. It has shown at 30 ohms, so a reading of 30 ohms could be acceptable. The CPU power rail reading is fine too. On this inductor, it should not be shown as such. This one is fine as well. It has shown at 21 ohms, so a reading of 21 ohms could also be acceptable. Uh, the same 12 volts are going to this chip as well. 
so we have to check it by separating it from the motherboard uh, let's separate it and see that this chip is not causing its short circuit This may involve testing the FET to confirm that it was indeed the cause of the short circuit or testing other components in the circuit to identify any other issue. I checked it after disconnection but the short circuit persists. There, I had a suspected FET, the field effect transistor that was causing a short circuit. As it was removed from the motherboard and the short circuit got fixed. I got a new FET and did a comparison. This one has got shortened. I compared its gate, source and drain pins with the help of a logic tester. You can watch it with me and can observe the difference. And the rest are looking fine. Let's try to install it on the motherboard. Here one has to be very careful about the direction of this component. Yes, it should be in that direction. As it has many pins, the FET placement must be very accurate. The main power pins are underneath this chip, which may make a short circuit it if not aligned correctly.
that's it. Here I need to reconnect the fuse. I will put a simple jumper on it. I try to solder the two parts of this wire. solder it at both ends of the fuse. First, I install this FET chip. Then I fix that protection as well. Maybe everything will be fine now. It is recommended to replace the thermal paste. And as I freshened up the thermal paste, I needed to get it all together. As soon as I powered it on, the fan started running. Upon success, the result is that it shows a display on the screen. So that was all the story for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and may you be blessed. Goodbye.